Hi guys! Water marble nail tutorials have been all over YouTube the past year and I've always wanted to try them out. However, I've got ridiculously tiny fingernails, so I decided to test the method on some plates instead. I was really happy with how these turned out, and they were actually a lot easier than I imagined. Just keep on watching to see a foolproof water marble method for crafting. So to get started, you'll need some nail polish, some toothpicks, washi tape or masking tape, a pair of scissors, and some plates to marble. I bought these from a local discount shop, but I'm sure you can find something similar in almost any country. And lastly, you'll need ceramic markers or sharpies and a large bowl or Tupperware box. Take your masking tape and draw two cat ears on it. Cut these out and then carefully stick them onto your plate. Then cut another piece of tape and add a curved shape so that it looks like the top of the head. Now add more pieces until you have the whole cat outline. Then simply fill in the cat with more masking tape and extend the shape onto the other side of the plate. For the second plate, I'm simply cutting out some circles for ears. You can make any animal you like with this method, such as bunnies, hamsters, koalas or totoros. Give both plates a quick wipe with a damp paper towel just to make sure that you remove any dust and the surface is dry and clean. Now fill up your bowl with warm water. This is the main secret to successful water marbling. Cold water causes your nail polish to harden quickly, but warm water keeps it soft for just long enough so you can add more colors and marble them together. The next trick to water marbling is the brand of nail polish. I read somewhere that Essie is supposed to work well and I was pleasantly surprised at how good it was. If you have problems getting the polish to stay on the surface, then be sure to try out different brands or even different colors within the same brand. The first drop of polish that you add will actually disappear completely. Don't worry about it because it's just creating a film across the surface that helps to support the polish that you add afterwards. Now just add some blobs and splatters across the water. You have to work fairly quickly because the polish might start to dry, so if you're a beginner then using two colors is best. Also don't worry about trying to get those perfect circles that you often see in nail art tutorials. When marbling a large area like a plate, I think a random pattern like this actually looks a lot nicer. If you can easily pull the toothpick across the design, then it's ready to marble. However, if the nail polish starts to clump on your toothpick like a plastic sheet, then it's already starting to dry, so you might want to start again. Once you have a design you like, just dunk your plate into the water. Since this was my first attempt ever at water marbling, it ended up being an epic fail. As you can see here, I only marbled the part that was covered up with masking tape anyway. If this happens to you, then don't worry because you can just clean it up with nail polish remover. So that's exactly what I did and now it's time to try again. Just like before, dribble some polish into the water and add a contrasting shade. The pink color I used is called Lounge Lover and the green color is called Chilato, both of them by Essie. Make sure that you create a surface area that's slightly bigger than the object you want to marble. So now I simply dunked my plate inside and it turned out so much better. I was so excited about this that I didn't even care about marbling my own hand. But if you do try this, then I really recommend you wear rubber gloves for reasons that you'll see later. Now just leave the plate in a safe place to dry. There's probably still some nail polish left in the water, so you can just scoop that out with a toothpick. Now it's time to do the same for the second plate. I found it was easier to just shake the polish out of the bottle because that's a lot faster and gives you more time to work. For the green color, I quite like the effect of splattering some streaks across the surface like an abstract art painting. Take your plate and hold it almost completely facing down. Now dunk or press it flat into the water like this. I found that this technique was more effective in covering the whole surface than dunking the plate from a slight angle. As you can see, I also marbled my hand again, and this was actually ridiculously difficult to take off, even using nail polish remover. So that's why I really recommend you wear rubber gloves if you try this yourself. I really love how this pattern turned out, but the problem is there's too much pale green here, so this means the bare outline won't show up that well. So I decided to marble it just one more time to make it a bit more pink. Marbling something for the second time only works for small areas, so be careful not to overdo it, otherwise your design will end up clumpy. Leave both plates to dry for about 10 or 15 minutes. 
Once the polish is dry to touch, you can start cleaning off water droplets. Simply soak these up with the corner of a tissue. The water drops will create tiny circles in the design, so it's best to get rid of them as soon as you can, but obviously not when the polish is still wet. Once the plates are fully dry, just carefully peel off the masking tape to reveal a cute cat head. It looks best if there's a lot of darker polish around the edge so that the outline really pops out. Next, take a thin porcelain marker and draw on some facial features. Most of these pens can be cleaned up with water or acetone when the ink is still wet, so don't worry if you make a mistake because you can easily correct it. Now it's time to peel the masking tape off the bare plate. This part is immensely satisfying because it feels like peeling off nail vinyls, except it's much easier and the nail is the size of your whole hand. And speaking of hand, you can see that my hand is still pink in this picture even after scrubbing at it for 10 minutes with nail polish remover. I'm pretty sure this is not good for your skin, so that is why I would recommend you wear gloves if you try this. So there you go! These plates look absolutely gorgeous and they were so easy to make. If you enjoyed this DIY, then please subscribe to Cute Life Hacks and my second DIY channel, Macaroon, which are all linked below. I do not recommend washing these plates, which means that you shouldn't use them for food. The nail polish is fairly strong, but if you want the plates to look pretty for as long as possible, then it's best to avoid damaging them in any way. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!